Amanda è stata crocifissa, Amanda è stata per mesi eh, oggetto di una campagna mediatica che ha stravolto la sua vita, è stata presentata sotto delle eh, false rappresentazioni e credo che adesso la verità, dopo quattro anni è venuta fuori, Amanda è ben diversa da quella che era stata inizialmente prefigurata. Sembra che quasi con una funzione notarile siate chiamati, siate chiamati a ratificare una sentenza di assoluzione che tutti quanti vi chiedono tramite i giornali, le televisioni e così via. Um, it is true that in Italy uh, the judges and the jurors go home every evening, read the papers, watch the TV news, um, but I do think that it has been the case that when they're in the courtroom or when, more importantly, they're deliberating the verdict, um, they, they close the door on all that and they just take the decision on their own. <laughs> Yeah, I think there's no way that that's not going to affect the jury because this jury comes into Perugia, into the courtroom, they see the satellite TV trucks, they see the reporters, they see these big events, they, they understand completely that there's a lot of global attention on this case and I, I don't know how they can not take that into the deliberation room with them. I think new media is going to play a crucial role in court reporting and, and in event reporting like this uh, from now on because when people are really following a case they want to be in the courtroom while things are happening and by tweeting from the courtroom you're giving them a play-by-play, -play, you're telling them everything, what someone says, how they look, what the glances are, you're putting them inside.